Princess Ellie hates soppy pink dresses and boring waving lessons. She'd much rather be riding one of her four gorgeous ponies, or even mucking out the stables. It's the Pony Mad Princess. The Pony Mad Princess was written by Diana Kimpton and illustrated by Lizzie Finley. They are published by Usborne, who are my favourite publisher. Princess Ellie to the Rescue is the first book in the Pony Mad Princess series. It is about Princess Ellie, who is a princess uh, called Ellie, and uh, she really likes ponies. That should be clear from the title. Princess Ellie lives with her parents, the King and Queen, her teacher, Miss Stringle, and Meg, the groom, who looks after the horses. Princess Ellie has four horses, Moonbeam, Sundance, Rainbow and Shadow. Every day the princess has to attend all sorts of rather boring princess lessons, like walking properly or waving, but she always dreams about riding her ponies. One day, or rather one night, her pony Sundance escapes and gets stuck. Princess Ellie must go to the rescue. Princess Ellie to the Rescue is a chapter book aimed at girls, although I think if it was called Who Can Rescue Sundance, it might be for girls and boys. The point is, whether you're a boy or a girl, you can read it if you want to. Boys, horses are cool. This is a very exciting book, and there are lots of interesting facts about horses and how to care for them. Actually, each book has information and quizzes at the back for young people who like horses. Princess Ellie isn't perfect. She feels bored and frustrated about being a princess, and often makes mistakes. And that's what makes her an interesting character, and someone we want to read about again and again. I really liked this book. The story is exciting and full of action. The characters are really interesting because they are all so different and have their own ideas and things they want and believe in. It's easy to describe each character in one sentence. Ellie wants to make her parents happy and be a good princess, but she also loves horses and doesn't see the problem with getting a bit muddy from time to time. Her father, the king, is quite strict, but her mother, the queen, understands Ellie's needs and always tries to change his mind. Meg shares Ellie's love of horses and doesn't care too much about saying your highness and things like that, so she is the closest Ellie gets to a normal life. Here are my ratings. The English is very easy and the story is also very easy to follow. There are some more books in the series and they are fairly serious but still fun. Here's an extract. Chapter 3 as soon as Ellie was outside, she felt even more stupid. She had wanted to look after her ponies herself, like the children in her books. Now she had spoilt the only chance she ever had to do it. She sniffed loudly and wiped away a tear with the back of her hand. Then she walked miserably along the yard to Rainbow's stable. The grey Welsh pony was standing quietly with her head over the door. Ellie gave Rainbow a peppermint and stroked her neck. The warm smell of horse made Ellie feel calmer. She moved along to the next stable and saw Moonbeam, the Palomino, quietly eating hay. Her mane and tail were snow white and the rest of her was a beautiful creamy gold. She came over when she saw Ellie and politely took a peppermint from her hand. Then she nuzzled Ellie's pockets looking for more. Suddenly there was a loud noise from the end stable. Shadow, the black Shetland, had smelt the peppermints and was banging the wall to make sure he wasn't forgotten. Ellie ran along the yard to see him. He was too small to put his head over the door, so she had to reach down to give him his sweet. She ruffled his mane and sighed as he crunched it. I ruined everything, she said. Then she heard a clatter of hooves behind her. She turned around and saw Meg leading Sundance. I've tacked him up for you, she said gently. Do you still want to ride? Yes, please, said Ellie, her voice unsteady from the nearness of her tears. And I'm sorry I was rude. That's all right, said Meg. It was wrong of me to laugh. I should have checked you knew what to do. She pulled down the stirrups and held Sundance's reins. Now jump on and we'll have a lovely ride to cheer you up. 
Ellie felt better once she was on Sundance's back. She leant forward and patted the chestnut pony's neck while she watched Meg mount Gypsy. Then she followed her out of the yard and into the palace grounds.